Folks, my next guest tonight is the 10 year old star of CBS's Young Sheldon. Please welcome Ian Armitage. Well, Master Armitage, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Master Colbert. You look. <laughs> you look. You look very dapper. Thank you. You too. Thank you very much. Um, well, you're you're young, Sheldon, as everybody knows, a hit show on CBS, which must be fun to have your own show. It is. But you're you're also you're also uh, in Big Little Lies. You're Shailene Woodley's son in that, which is on uh, HBO. Are you even? Are you even allowed to watch HBO? Because you're <laughs> you're ten years old. Not really. Also, I don't watch that much TV myself, which is kind of ironic. Uh, but mm -hmm. I don't. I've never really watched TV, so it's a great place no. to learn. It's the best place to learn. <laughs> now, uh, everyone's talking about how in the, the new season of uh, Big Little Lies, Meryl Streep's in in mm. this season. Now, I, I I've met her before. She's a lovely, lovely person. I've never had a chance to work with her before. What's she What's she like to work with? She's really just sweet and funny and incredible. Um, I actually, can I tell you a quick story about her? I, I hope so, yeah. We were, <laughs> we were doing this scene and there was a piano near us and they all cut, but also when, when they all cut, they're, all the crew is still working. Sure. So we can, you know, kind of play and stuff, but we've got to keep our voices down. So I said, oh, mom, can I play that piano? And she was like, not now because the crew is working. Miss Merrill's like, I'd like to hear him play. Let's go over there. And I was like, okay. Because Merrill says it's okay. You get to do anything you want. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> can I light a fire indoors? Merrill says yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Well, Miss Merrill said yes. So. Yes. Now you've you've also worked with some other legends. Last year, you were in a movie with my guest. Last night, I had Jane Fonda on last night, mm. um, which is an amazing actress. Did, did she give you any tips about acting? Anything you remember? She, let's see. She was just. She was a really incredible and fun woman to work with, and I loved her. And we went. She. We, I. She set up this fly fishing class. Oh, For me, really? because I said I wanted, I've always wanted to fish, but I'd never want to hurt the fish. And also, I'm a vegetarian, so <laughs> I, I have always wanted to go fishing, but I don't ever want to hurt the fish. I just want to like see them and sure, it'd be, it'd be, sure. It'd be really interesting. So then she said, "Well, have you ever gone fly fishing?" And I hadn't. So then she scheduled the next day this really cool and elaborate fly fishing trip, and it was really fun. Oh wow! And now there's one fish floating around the Colorado River named Miss Jane. Named Jane, because you caught you caught the fish, and then you and it was I just catch it. and release. Mm -hmm. Did you do the thing? Some people kiss their fish before they let them go. I did. You kissed the fish. I did. Now you got uh, your start reviewing Broadway shows um, on YouTube. You had your own YouTube channel. What like what what like what shows? What's the first show you saw? The first show I saw was Hairspray in Virginia, and I was three. Oh, <laughs> did you rev did you review that one? I did, but my dog was barking in the background, so it wasn't anything. Wasn't a good take. Yeah. <laughs> take two. You you've done reviews of plays that you haven't seen, like for instance, you reviewed shows like Hedwig and the Angry Inch, but you didn't go see it. You just reviewed it, and I think we have a clip right here. Jim, can we run that? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hi, this is Ian, and tonight I didn't see Hedwig and the Angry Inch. I would have told you how great the costumes were, although I didn't see it. I would have told you how great all the actors and Neil Patrick was, but I didn't see it. I would have told you how great the makeup was, but I did not see it. Okay, I don't get it. Why can't, why does head wig not appropriate for me? It's so hard to be a, a six-year-old kid who loves theater. I love, I love theater. I do too. I, I really, I really love theater. Mm -hmm. So I, I just love theater, and it's so hard when you can't see a theater show. No, I understand that you didn't see that, but you did a review of it, <laughs> and this show's on at 11:35 at night. So I assume you haven't seen this show. I sadly haven't. I really want to, but call time is usually quite early. So sure, you got to get sleep up. At about would you seven. mind before we go? Would you mind looking at that camera right there? Would you be okay doing a review of of my show without ever having seen it? Of course. 
course. So of course. Be... Okay. okay. Right. Then that's your camera number three, right there, with the light on, right there. I that one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and review. Hi, this is Ian, and tonight I didn't see the Late Show with Mr. Stephen Colbert. I would have told you how incredible the band was and how the music was just beautiful, flowing through my ears, but I didn't see it, so I can't <laughs> say that. I would have told you how incredible, witty, and funny Mr. Stephen Colbert was and how well-dressed he was, but I didn't see it. And I would have told you how well-dressed and was so good at reacting the audience was and how fun they were. I didn't see it. <laughs> so please consider making it the late show at six so some of us who have to go to bed at seven can watch it. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Ann. Thank you, Christy. Season two of Young Sheldon premieres Monday at 8.30 on CBS. Ian Armitage, everybody.